year ago, like you, I was sitting in those very seats. I was lost in a sea of phone calls, dinners, and admitted student days. When I came to this dinner, I had many options on my table, ranging from a big city school like NYU to smaller campus schools like Hofstra, and I had no way to objectively pick. After all, each school brings certain unique characteristics to the table, and, is very difficult, and it is very difficult to put them head to head. In the end, I put down not one, but two deposits, because I truly couldn't decide. I know you all must be thinking, I have some very understanding parents. <laughs> Everything changed when summer rolled around. To help finalize my decision, I chose to get a head start by taking some summer classes at Hofstra. My first class was a seminar on World War I. When you register the day before classes begin, you don't have too many choices. And I was worried that the next four weeks were going to be boring and uninteresting. I was very, very wrong. My professor, Dr. Walsh, traditionally taught Greco-Roman history, so I was interested why he was teaching a class on World War I. His answer was simple, because I love it. It was those very words that led me to choose Hofstra. It's very easy to throw words around, especially during the college admissions process. And when Dr. Walsh said those words, something struck me. And I realized that if I went to any faculty member, administrator, or student at Hofstra and asked them why they do what they do, they would all use those very same words. In fact, I encourage you now to go to any faculty member, administrator, or student here tonight and ask them that question. Another key component in my decision to attend Hofstra was the tremendous individual attention I received throughout the decision-making process. Whenever I had a question, I sent an email to the honors office, and I always received a quick reply and an offer to meet with one of the deans if I had any other concerns. It was an offer, as Dean Donahue can corroborate, I frequently took him up on that summer, and always to effect. Now that I've told you why I chose to come to Hofstra, perhaps I should talk a bit about how things have been going. The most central program to the life of a first year honors college student is culture and expression. I could spend hours talking about CNE, but to put it simply, it's a one year crash course in getting a liberal arts education. Over the course of the year, we have read things ranging from the Epic of Gilgamesh to James Joyce, and we are guided by 14 hand picked faculty members who bring a variety of backgrounds and interests to these courses. This variety makes for a potent learning environment that is both intense and fun. While CNE is a cornerstone of the Honors College first year experience, there are many other things that make the program truly unique for all of its students. Every week, there are trips, uh, there are several HUHC excursions that range from trips to the Metropolitan Opera to hockey games and everything in between. Simply put, there will always be an activity on the horizon that will appeal to you. Additionally, the Honors Housing Options offer residential students a tight-knit, supportive community of students. I am a commuter, and you might imagine that I, and all commuters, may feel a bit disconnected from this wonderful community. I can honestly say, however, that nothing could be further from the truth. In full disclosure, it does require a bit more effort on my part, but I'm on campus from 10 to 6 every day, and I'm constantly utilizing both the academic resources provided by the university and the social resources provided by the Honors College. Now, in my second semester, I have found myself immersed in a variety of activities that I never believed I would be involved in as a commuter. And my advice to all commuters is simple. Make the effort to stay involved. You will not regret it. I know that joining clubs like the Economics Association and Mock Trial as well as taking parts and trips to the Museum of Natural History, and even simply just staying on campus to have dinner with friends instead of rushing home, has made my Hofstra experience far richer. I'd like to close by paraphrasing Dr. Walsh's words. I love this school and everything it means to be a part of the Hofstra pride. I also want to wish luck to all of you in whatever you choose. And here is some advice for those of you who do choose Hofstra. And I do hope that is all of you. Work hard and utilize all the resources at your fingertips. Because when I was sitting down there, 
I thought about how amazing it would be for me to give this speech. And here I am. <laughs> Perhaps it will be you here next year, sharing what has made Hofstra so special for you. And I know that I very much look forward to that. Thank you. Thank you.